how to use togo plan hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can use toggle plan so having said that let's just jump into the video so over here i'm on the main website and this is how it looks like so first things first what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and sign up as now the sign up process is very simple and it's absolutely free however there is a pricing plan so let me just show you so over here as you can see there are two plans there is the team and the business one and the team one is eight dollars per user per month you get unlimited team timelines visual workload management unlimited plan boards in-app email notifications recurring tasks toggle track integrations and shareable timelines as well and it's all for eight dollars per user per month and then you have the business plan which is 13.35 dollars per user per month and in it you get everything from the previous plan and you get to invite workspaces guests users project data exports single sign-ons and priority support emails as well so it's pretty simple it's very free now this is for annual and you will save 10 percent if you switch it to monthly then the prices change from eight dollars for team to nine dollars and for business changes and increases to 15 per dollars per user per month so keep that in mind so now that we've gotten that out of the way let's go ahead and sign up and get our free trial now i am going to be using a temporary email address over here so i'll just copy the email and i'll come over here i'll paste the email and create a password and sign up and i'll catch you guys in a second so then they basically ask you what do you want to name your workspace so you have accounts design engineering marketing plan master all of that so you can name it whatever you want and then you can also switch it to dark mode light mode i like dark mode so i'm going to switch it and keep it to dark mode and over here i'll just call it demo for now and i'll just simply click on next and then over here how many projects are you working on so you have three one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so whichever one you want uh i'll say one and click on next and how many members do you want to invite so i'll just say two or actually one and i'll click on done so here we go this is how it looks like okay so let me just get this out of the way but basically this is how it looks like right so over here on the left hand side you have your main option and in the middle you have your main timeline and then over here you have your new task so let me just verify my email address over here they are asking me to do that so that we can get that out of the way all right now that we've gotten that out of the way here we go so on the left hand side as i said before you have your own main options then you have updates and my work and in my work you will see all of your calendar and timeline and then over here you will see you have your plan and then you have your team members and then you down below you have your projects so in projects you have two views either a timeline view or a board view i basically like board view it's much simpler and cleaner and it's very easy to do so so over here at the top you have a to-do list in progress block done and new status so to create a new task just simply underneath to-do list you just simply hit the new task button and over here you can create a new task so i could just say uh make a video on canva and that will be my task and then i can assign different people to it by simply clicking over here and over here i can you know assign it to different projects i can set a due date i can assign it to different parties or different you know people and then over here we can add a description as well like what we want maybe like a reference video or something like that that can help the uh, person who is working on this task to make this video possible and pretty simple and then we have this option right here where we can change the views as i said before this is a timeline view so over here you will see you have f5 over here you have different uh levels so you have new timelines as well but i basically like the board view it's much simpler and it's easy to understand and then over here onto settings you will see you have your main settings option it's very simple nothing too crazy and you also get some integrations as well so you can integrate with different applications so you have browser extension mobile application uh, toggle track which is their time tracking software uh, if you turn it on you can paste the toggle track uh, api over here and you can configure it with it and then you have slack and calendar as well so you can go ahead and use that as well but basically this is how it looks like now if you wanted to create a new 
plan or a new project just simply click on this plan option over here you can choose what type of plan you want so i'll just keep the board view and over here you can create the new plan or the project name you can add different you know uh blocks over here you can edit the name as well what you want to do you can add the status you can add different segments and tags to it as well so pretty simple this is how i do it and if you wanted to invite other people within this project all you'd have to do is just simply uh, click over here underneath your team you have your my team and over here you can simply click on this button right here to invite different users and you can add their email addresses over here and click on add or you can add a new user as well so pretty simple nothing too crazy and then over here back onto the board let me just show you a little bit more about it if you wanted to let's say remove some of these uh tables or boards just simply click on the three dots and you can go ahead and delete them right and if you wanted to add a new status or a new board just simply click on the new status option and then over here you can add a new status so i'll basically say reviewed and then over here we have the hk button but yeah and over here we can set an emoji as well so for a review i'll just put this one right here and yeah that's pretty simple that's how it is so very simple you can add different tasks as i said before and you can just move a task when they are being made to each of these blocks that can indicate us what is happening within this block or within this task so that we get notified whether it's completed or not and over here if you click on the task you can see you have project one if you wanted to open it up you can review this plan over here and also you can add different status so if you can see over here you have status option you have from or to so let's say we want this to be done anywhere between 16th of january to 17th of january there you go as you can see this is the deadline and you can add different assignees to it as well so as you can see this person has been assigned to it and you can add as i said before a description of what you are looking for and you can also add comments what let's say you've reviewed it right so you've reviewed it and you've added the comments you think that it's good or there's some corrections to be made or maybe there are some things or some elements that didn't occur within the video itself so you can add them over here as a note so that the person who has created this video or this task knows what he is doing and he'd go back and create and you know edit it out and generally this is how it looks like and then you have your my work option over here here you will be shown all of your work you will see your assigned task let me just get this out of the way over here you will see you have your assigned task basically a summary uh, open checklist items due date task and overdue task as well you will see all of your options right here you can add different options right here as well so basically over here we're in f15 this is basically rows you can add a different milestone on each of these rows that can indicate let's say you added a milestone over here and then over here we have my workspace and over here basically you can add your you know work over here so as you can see i added this one so all you got to do is just simply you know add a milestone if you want to reach like let's say you want to complete 100 videos by this by the end of the month and over here you have your calendar right you just simply uh, open it up by clicking over here so it's july so what you could do is over here as you can see it's july 30th and over here we're gonna start august august is gonna start over here at m25 so what you could do is you can maybe like add a milestone that complete 100 videos by the end of the month this is a new milestone so you can just simply click on save so as you can see you have our milestone set over here when you click on it you can see you have a milestone over here by and which says complete uh, 100 videos by the end of the month and if i click on over here anywhere i can add a new milestone so pretty simple this is it you could this is all the things that you need to know about and then you have your uh, workspace over here at the top so pretty simple this is how you use it this is how you use toggle plan and how you can use it to manage your project so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye